Alright, so we've got Python installed and we checked that it works. The next step is to install MoviePy. And, um, here's how we're going to do that. So, we are looking down the method by hand. Um, I tried the method with pip. doesn't work. Um, it just makes things a little bit complicated, but if you follow these instructions, you should be able to do it just fine. So method by hand, download the sources. That's what we need to do first. So click the GitHub link, click clone or download, and click download zip. All right, I've already downloaded it, so that's number two. So I'm just going to click the original one. Double click to unzip it, and then right click copy this file, go to your C drive, program files, and paste it in there. Alright, so the next thing you want to do, um, as it says here, I'll just save you the reading, read that if you want, but basically you have to download Image Magic. Um, you don't have to, but I recommend it, it just helps you able to be able to create text slides. So click the Image Magic link there, and we're going to go to Download, um, click Windows Binary Release at the top, and download HTTP, this top version. Once that exe downloads, go ahead and run it. Accept the agreement. That's a good place to download. Just take note that it's in your program files. Click next. All right, here there's an important step. You want to install legacy utilities, e.g. convert, because we'll be using that convert file. So click install legacy utilities. These two are fine. If you don't want a desktop icon, you don't need it. Click Next, click Install, and there that goes. So while that's going, um, I'm going to show you one extra step. So what I've done here when I open my command prompt, you see it already lands in program files. And the way I did that is, okay, let's see, click Next. I don't need to view that, but you can view it if you want. It just shows some about the application. Click Finish. So like I was saying, um, starts on program files. The way I did that is right click, uh, actually just drag it over, create link and desktop. And you can right click and hit properties and there's this start in section where I could do C, whoops, C drive and then it'll give me some suggestions so I'll just put program files. Now when I open some program files, and actually what I really want to do is have it start in the MoviePie folder, so program files MoviePie master. So see program files, it looks like it added parentheses there for me, just stay inside those. MoviePie dash master. Add a backslash, click OK. So now when you open that command prompt, only from this shortcut. You'll notice if you open it from the desktop, it brings you to user slash user. So you want to use it, you want to use this shortcut so that it'll put you right in that MoviePie Master folder. The next step, um, it's explained right here. Basically, uh, Image Magic kind of just works unless you're on Windows and it, it says that you need to provide the path to it, which is what we're going to do now. So find your MoviePie folder, go into it the MoviePie folder inside your MoviePie master folder. There's a file called config defaults. You want to right click on it and edit with idle. So all this green text between the quotes, there's three quotes up there and three quotes down there. All that green text is just notes, so read that if you want. What we care about is down here where it says image magic binary and that says auto detect. We need to change that to point it to that convert file. So. Go to your program files folder, click on image magic, and there's that file called convert. Remember that's the one we hit the checkbox so that it would download. So you can just right click right here on image magic and do copy address as text, right click paste. So that's saying to go to C program files image magic and then we need to add backslash convert.exe file save 
close that and now we're going to install so we'll open that command prompt make sure you're in the movie pi master folder so there's a python file called setup so the way we tell it to run that is we type python setup.py install give that a little bit to install all right it's done so now let's just see if it works type python start running python and type from moviepy.editor import star all right and that means it's installed so we didn't get any errors there um, so that means it's installed and everything's working this command right here from moviepy import star basically imports the editor so think of that as like opening premiere or opening w windows movie maker or whatever so now you've got MoviePie installed.